Your Excellencies, esteemed delegates, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting me. Privileged to be here. And before I begin, I would like to congratulate our organizers for bringing together thought leaders, representatives, municipal authorities, and more than 3,000 delegates in the BRICS countries to this August forum. Over the last two years, BRICS has established itself as a premier platform for deriving solutions for sustainable development of cities. Emerging and developing countries overall, and BRICS countries in particular, continue to play a major role in global growth. Our members are home to 41% of the world's population and represent 24% of the global economy. The share in world trade is about 16%. Importantly, in the last decade, more than half of the growth in the world GDP was contributed by the BRICS countries. Robust growth in the last two decades has led to significant improvements in the standard of living of our citizens and transformed the BRICS economies into important trading and consumption centers. Along with this, the BRICS economies also now have to deal with the challenges and the opportunities that urbanization provides. This is, uh, say, something that follows the sort of robust growth that we have seen. Despite the positive trends and all that has been done, the BRICS countries face a daunting task of providing basic social services to all its citizens, such as clean water, electricity, quality infrastructure, particularly for uh, urban transit, sanitation, and subsequently achieving targets set by the UN or SDGs. BRICS countries are home to close to 1.5 billion urban residents. Urban centers are important drivers for economic activity and employment opportunities. It is estimated that by 2040, 65% of the population will live in cities. Increased migration would affect, would, without effective planning and capacity building for some of the items that I mentioned above. And in addition to urban rejuvenation where necessary, mass transit where necessary, and most importantly, cultural pre preservation, preservation of local cultures will be an important part of what we will need to uh, do in the future. Therefore, it is imperative that there is increased focus by government and policy makers on orderly development of cities and implementation of diverse strategies to ensure our cities are smart, climate resilient and sustainable. I want to highlight two aspects here. One, that all this needs funding. Funding can be seen as a challenge or as an opportunity. I see it as an opportunity. There are resources across multilateral development institutions, domestic resource raising possibilities, and putting better discipline into these municipalities to issue bonds under the paper on their own and finance their activities. Of course, all these in addition to striving to run for a, with a positive budget, a positive budget which releases surpluses which can be then fed into community growth. One other aspect that I want to highlight is the opportunity that we have in terms of propelling our GDPs, the GDPs of our five countries, through urbanization and urban growth. Because the developmental efforts here, the infrastructure building efforts here, building new things, whether it is, uh, as I said, rapid transit, mass transit, um, roads, um, connectivity structures, power, water, sanitation, et al. I think these are what I call economic uh, you know, drivers in terms of en enabling GDP growth at faster rates than what it would otherwise have been uh, possible. So I'm sure this is an area which uh, this August Forum will deliberate on and indeed uh, overall BRICS leadership will delib deliberate on as a huge opportunity for the BRICS countries. Apart from this, I would also, I'd also say that there is a scope for exchange of uh, thought because all five uh, BRICS countries are at not necessarily the same level of urban development. So there's a whole lot of opportunity to learn from each other and do what is right for the common good. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, we share common challenges and strive towards common goals. We have a collective responsibility to work together and strengthen our capacity to deliver on the aspirations of our future generations. At the same time, there is significant opportunity before us to share our knowledge base, judicious, judiciously leverage our talent pool, and harness the benefits associated with modern technology solutions in orderly development of urban centers. To quote, to quote Mahatma Gandhi, the future depends on what we do today. IMBRIX is a positive step in this direction and will be an effective platform for augmenting resources and ensuring our cities are future ready. Thank you.